about a sinusoidal model. So it says, on a certain planet, the hours of daylight follow a sinusoidal model. At time equals, at day t equals 1.5, the hours of daylight is a minimum at 6 hours. Then the next maximum after that occurs at time equals 7.8, and it has a maximum of 14 hours of daylight, and it asks us to write an equation to model this particular situation. Okay, now the information given to us is at first a minimum and then a maximum. So if we have something that's going from a minimum to a maximum, that generally will look like starting from a bottom to a top and then back down. So this is the model of the negative cosine curve. So this is the model that I'm going to use in the background here. Sinusoidal could mean either cosine or sine, and I'm going to use this cosine graph. So the first piece was to notice whether it was going up or down, where it was beginning, and then choose our model from there. So our model is going to be a negative cosine curve. Next would be to determine the amplitude of said curve. So since we know what the maximum and the minimum were, the maximum and the minimum, half of that determines what the amplitude will be. So as far as finding the amplitude, the amplitude will be equal to the maximum, which is 14 hours, minus the minimum, which is 6, and then we're going to divide that by 2, because that's going to give us the amount that it goes up and down from what we would call a midline. So 14 minus 6, of course, would be 8, divided by 2, provides the number 4. Okay, next, let's look at the period. So looking from the graph here, from this model, we can see that we're going about halfway through the graph from the minimum to the maximum. So in our problem, the minimum to the maximum time would be half of the graph. So our period period, let's put this one in green, our period is going to be, let's see, from 1.5 to 7.8 were the time intervals, so 7.8 minus 1.5 is what gives us the time it takes to get from the minimum to the maximum, and then we're going to multiply that by 2 in order to get the entire period. So 7.8 minus 1.5 would be 6.3 multiplied by 2 equals 12.6. So that's going to be our period. Okay, next we're going to look at the shifts that occur. So we have a couple of shifts that occur here because we have starting at time. So where do we actually start? We start at time equals 1.5 and instead of starting at the bottom, which would normally be, let's see, due to the amplitude would be a negative 4, we're actually starting at the value of positive 6. So we chose that amplitude already, which means that we would normally be going from negative 4 down here up to a positive 4 here, but again, we have this starting point that's actually at 6. So we're going to have to perform a couple shifts, and the shifts are going to be, let's see, horizontally speaking, horizontal, we are going to be moving to the right 1.5 because that was the given starting point and we're going to be looking at vertical instead of starting at the negative 4 value here we got shifted up to a 6 so we're going to be a vertical up 10. Okay and that should be enough information for us to be able to create our model. So what's our final answer to the problem going to look like? Our model, let's see what our model is going to be. The model will be a function of time, so we'll say f of t. Then we're going to provide the amplitude. The amplitude appears to be 4. We decided we were going to use a negative cosine curve, so I'll put a negative here and a cosine here. And then we have this period uh, of 12.6, so this is where we get our B value from. The way that we're going to get our B is we're going to take our usual period, which is 2 pi, so that's a 2 pi, and we're going to take that, that's actually not very clear, let's go 2 pi, we're going to divide by 12.6, the new period. Then we're going to perform our shifts, so we have a horizontal shift, 
horizontal is minus, we're going to minus 1.5, and then we have a vertical shift of up 10, and going up 10 is a positive 10 shift. So this model right here would be a model that would model the amount of daylight on this particular planet based on a sinusoidal model.